this is ready. And we can start now with the banana leaves. Okay. Now, where do you buy banana leaves? Uh, in many supermarkets, they have them frozen. They, oh. So you can buy them frozen. These are not even from Mexico, come from somewhere else, from Thailand, I guess. All right, so let me just now open and show you how you clean the bags, mm -hmm. the leaves here. Okay, this is how they come. Oh these are gosh. quite nice this time. How Sometimes beautiful. they don't come as nice. Really? This is beautiful. Yeah, so be sure that all the leaves are kind of clean and sometimes they come kind of white. Uh -huh. So if that's, uh, that is happening, Just we'll clean. wash them, clean them very well, and that's it. Um, the leaves should be pliable. Wow. If they break, yeah. you need to work with them. Either boil them, that is one of the methods, or you pass them on top of the flame until they get soft. So let's work with one and okay. I will show you how to how we will work. So we have to get rid of this um, tough bind. So let's put this ends together. So it's like you're folding a sheet. Uh-huh, to <laughs> make it easier to right. cut. There we go, and here. Okay. And we will get rid of fold that part. All right, discard this. Okay, this is, doesn't look too pretty, for example, so we don't use that part. We just discard it. Hmm. So you want kind of um, the most beautiful, perfect leaves you can get. That's a better thing, right? And the size you want, you can make it very small or larger. For example, I will have a little bit of a trouble here because this is kind of broken. So if that happens or you're spreading out the masa and it's broken, what you do is just cover with another piece. And that won't affect cooking Nothing. times or no. anything? Okay, okay, so this is what you do. Okay. Okay, so let's start, you know, making one tamal here. There are different ways for spreading this. Um, I like this better. This is the one I, I, I was told by my grandmother. So you put the masa. Oops. Okay. There you go. <laughs> uh, the, the first is slight problem, yeah. right? But that's normal. That is, you know, it will happen all yep. the time. You don't have to be worried for that. You just take you just put it a over. little bit of piece over there, that's right, or more, anyone might. Wow, it's so forgiving. Okay. It, oh, yes. It's a, it's, that's the beauty of Mexican cooking. Yeah. I like to say sometimes that is foolproof. <laughs> Everybody can do it, believe me, it's really, it's really true. So your grandmother, this was her method. Yes. So this is a very thin layer, as you can tell, of masa. Spread it out as much as you can get into the edges. So everywhere. It will be like a, a thin film I see. of masa. So we have the mole here, and we just need a little bit. So as you can tell, we're not talking about a protein product here. The meat is not relevant, once again. Okay, you fold it, and then fold it again here. So you fold it in half and then mm -hmm. you fold the edges over. That's right. And then this one, fold edges once and then fold oh, it through. Oh, okay. So then fold a little exactly. bit of an edge and then uh -huh. fold it all the way over. The same I thing see. here. And here we have a bundle. Oh, interesting. Isn't that cute? That is. Okay. Now, well, do you and tie we have a little bit anything? here. You can, but you don't need to. So this is what I will do here. Okay, open it a little bit in put this piece back into here. So yeah, it can be a little bit of like a puzzle when yeah. you open it up, right? <laughs> but it will be fine and it's, you know, that's the way we do it. It's right. comfort food. Yes. You, know, you should have to be, in, you enjoy not suffering because nothing is, you know, everything is perfect. That's right. All right. So chef, is there a way to, to steam these? Are you gonna show Yes, me? Okay. and I have some other ready, so we okay. won't waste the time now that you learn this okay. part. And I have some other ready here to go. So we have the bundles here. Okay, we have a steamer here. The water is boiling. We need to add a little bit of salt into it. And remember, it is important that the water will not touch the tamales at any time. Oh. So the water should be lower than that. Okay, okay? so it really is steaming. It's not yes, boiling, exactly. simmering, not boiling it's or any other thing. Okay, so you start placing the tamales at the bottom. 
this will go this way, okay? So with the seam is it, on top. Uh, on top, okay. Okay, and then you make like a cross, you know, like overlapping a little bit, but leaving area for the steam oh, to keep to get circulating, all of them. Okay. okay? Normally we make them in a huge oh, tamaleras. We call them tamaleras. It's a huge steamer. So you normally leave, but you know, we have the edges here. And now we will have to seal this to make it better. First of all, oops, I have a, a wet towel here to ensure even more, you know, the, the steam inside. So you just oh. cover this, all right? And then to make it even better. Not, uh, what about putting a, a yeah, it will be, but it won't be enough. We oh, don't want any wow. steam to come out. Oh my gosh, this. that's amazing. All right. Okay, and, and then, then this. Wow. That's right. Amazing, okay. So it will take like one hour and a half uh. to be ready, one hour 15. There is a test to make when the tamales are ready, which is you have to take one out and peel a little bit. So if it peels fine, then it's ready. If not, you just keep going. And what does peeling fine mean? Uh, what is that? It's separate from the from the banana leaf. And okay. so I, I think you've got some done, right? That's right. Okay. So I have some tamales already made. So yeah, one hour, 15, one hour and a half, and they will be ready. So let me take one pretty out from here. And this is what you get, okay? It's a tamal here. Mm. You unwrap it again. Oh, wow. And the tamale is ready. So I see how you say it just separates from the... From here. Yep. Like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Can I eat it right out of here? Yes, of course. Is that all right? <laughs> Face it. Yes, of course. Let's see. So you have there a little bit of meat mm -hmm. and the dough. This is a technique that it comes from uh, even mm. older than the tortilla, tamal. It's a, an older technique in Mexican cooking. God, that is so delicious. Well, Chef, thank you so much for showing me how to make these turkey tamales. Thank you, Tanya. Oh, beautiful. Pleasure.